What goes on, peoples? It's your boy Cameron coming at you. Um, gonna do this Q and A real quick. Um, and then I'm gonna get ready to go do stuff in California. Amazingly, I'm so used to Eastern Eastern Standard Time. I'm not. Um, I was not prepared for this time change, and it's eleven something here in California. And my friends are getting ready back at home. They're getting ready to get out of school. <laughs> so it's like, I'm barely even up yet, and my friends are already out of school. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm not used to it. So, um, um, let's get to these questions. There's a, quite a few of them. Uh, first off, from, hold on, what is that name? It says, uh, Gage... Masias, if I said that right, if I said that wrong, I'm sorry. It says, will you vlog what you do on a game day at the stadium? Um, I thought about it a couple times. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's too much work bringing the iPad into the stadium, but since I got a new phone and I can, I have more storage on my phone, um, I might actually do it. Um, the next question. Yo, Daddy says, what's wrong with your eye? He spelled it like a fool. My question is, what's wrong with your life? Um, okay, so this is a long one from Justin Ebright. He's a Raiders fan. Shout out to him. Uh, he said, um, he said, okay, let's keep it Tampa Bay for you. Next year, who would you like most out of, the uh, out of college to land in Tampa Bay? Don't worry about draft positions just talking pure wow pure wow that guy needs needs to be a buck <sighs> Dalvin Cook I've had so much fun watching Dalvin Cook at Florida State most of you know I root for Florida State in Georgia so I've had a lot of fun watching Dalvin Cook and Doug Martin is injury prone as you know what so um I'm trying to I'm trying to keep my language to a minimum. Anyways, um, but, you know, Dalvin Cook is a monster. Uh, Doug Martin is always hurt. So, I mean, why not? Why not, Dalvin? Of course, he won't be there. He'll be gone in the top ten, and hopefully we're not picking in the top ten this year. Um, uh, Roy Ramsdell, he, one of many questions from him. Who were you a fan of first? Hockey, the Lightning, or football, the Bucks? The Bucks. I was born into being a Bucks fan, and then when I discovered what hockey was myself around 2011, 2012, um, that's when I really, really, I, I was a casual Lightning fan growing up as a kid. We were more of a football family, but then when I discovered what hockey was for real, um, you know, around 2011, 2012, I really, um, really got into it. But other than that, I went to maybe one, two games a year, and, um, you know, I did see us win the Stanley Cup. I did watch that happen. I did touch the Stanley Cup when I was a kid. Um, the GM of my, um, the GM of the Lightning back in the day, Jay Feaster, his kid went to the same elementary school that I did. So there was a whole day where he brought the cup in and we all touched it. And it was pretty cool because the guy with the white gloves was there. It was a pretty cool experience touching that Stanley Cup. Swaggy T. Shout out to him. He's pretty. Uh, he's a Rams fan, I think. Doesn't really post football videos, I don't think, but he's he's a Rams fan. Uh, he asks, "When did you go to your first Bucks game?" Um, actually, I have a picture of it. Um, it's not with me now. It's back in Tampa. Um, I was at a jet. My first Bucks game was a Jags Bucks preseason game. Um, in two thousand and five, I was seven. Seven in two thousand and five. And, um, it was, I was just in amazement with everything, the pirate ship, the field, the lights, everything. It was, it was, it was awesome. Um, what did I do here? No, that's not what I want to do. Scroll down. Stop it. Oh, this thing's being difficult. Okay. I answered that one already. Um... Geckery, that how you say it? Said, did you like the Bucks on your own, or was it because your parents or hometown's team? A little bit of both. Um, 
I did like to, I did carry wanting football on my own. Um, if you were to meet my younger brother, you would have no idea we were brothers because we had no common interest and we looked nothing alike. <laughs> He's the computer video game tech, tech guy. I am the football sports nerd type guy. Um, I did grow up to like football on my own, but I am a Bucks fan because I was pretty much born into it. Uh, my parents used to dress me <clears throat> in Buck stuff uh, when I was a little. Um, from USMC Sniper 12, or 123, he asks, Who's your favorite YouTuber of all time? Um, shoot, it's a toss up. It's a toss up. It's um, between this guy by the name of Outlaw and Miles Dawkins 24 7 Productions. Uh, Outlaw puts a lot of funny content, a lot of, when I used to do Dipping Tobacco, I used to, you know, follow his advice on some of the stuff he would review, and, but he also puts a lot of funny content up with a lot of vlogs and stuff, so if you hear me say Invidja or Yellow, it's because, you know, he uses that stuff in his, that's some of his sayings, so, um, uh, he's real, I really enjoy watching him. Uh, favorite Bucks player of all time, John Lynch, have you ever eaten at Hooters before, yes, if so, what's your opinion on Hooters, I love Hooters, um, it's in my top three of wing joints, it's Buffalo Wild Wings, Beef O'Brady's, and Hooters, JTWWE, of course he would ask this, best Buccaneers quarterback you've seen play, how cliche is this answer going to be, Jameis Winston, um, like, I've seen good ones in my time. Brad Johnson was okay uh, when he was hot. Chris Sims was average at times. Um, Jeff Garcia was really, really good. Before Jameis Winston, it was Jeff Garcia. Brian Greasy was all right, too. But, um, you know, it was all my top two favorite quarterbacks I've seen play for the Bucks are always going to be Jameis Winston and Jeff Garcia. Um, why I say Jameis Winston? Because... He's a playmaker, and just like Garcia was. But Garcia was older when he came here, and he was always hurt. Um, so, I mean, I just loved watching Jameis Winston play ever since he was in college. So, um, my answer would be Jameis Winston, as cliche as that sounds. Okay, from Roy's Ram Roy Ramsdale again. What sport to watch on TV the Bucks or the Lightning? Uh, at the moment, the Bucks because um, they're doing better. The Lightning are playing some of the worst hockey I've seen them play in four or five years. Um, what's a better game to go to? The stadium, arena, and watch live Bucks or the Lightning? <sighs> That's a difficult one because Sunday was probably the best Bucks game I've been to in seven, six, years, six to seven years. But the Lightning games are always fun to go to, especially during the playoffs. That place is an insane atmosphere. Um, that's a really good question. I can't really answer that question right now. But overall, I guess I could answer it. I could, overall, in the past couple of years, it's been the Lightning games. Um, Gage Masia, uh favorite Bucks player right now? Quan Alexander. All time, John Lynch. Um... I have no idea how to say that name. Mr. RK Omega Drive Ringside. There we go. I said it right. Who are you hoping Georgia plays in the bowl game? Miami. It'd be really cool to play Mark Rick and show that we don't need Mark Rick. But um honestly, it, for some it, it would take a miracle for Georgia to get the Outback Bowl, which would be nice because I live in Tampa and I'm going again this year. Right now they're projecting for Florida and Nebraska, so that should be a good game, but It'll take a miracle for Georgia to get the Outback Bowl. Excuse me. Panther fan, 4055. If you, have, if you had to fish fight any TTC member, who would it be? Why are you always trying to get me in trouble, bruh? <laughs> who would I fish fight? T. Kirk. I'd fish fight T. Kirk. T. Kirk knows I'm messing with him. Anyways, um, Dallas Man 101. If you like baseball, who's your MLB team? I'm a casual Rays fan. Of course, 
I tell people I'm on a boycott right now because they like to get rid of everybody and they don't do anything to help their team. They're the professional baseball league. They, they're the they are the major league farm team. So that is that. Um, uh, for the first time this year, I didn't go to, go to any games. Um, you know, could never. I didn't get a chance to get out there this year. But uh, maybe I'll go again next year. I don't know. Right now, I'm not. Not, uh, not really happy with them. And I skipped a bunch of questions. I had to go back up. Oh, there it is. All right, go down. <sighs> Pat's fan. Is Aguar? You spelled Aguario wrong. But um, it, it, the way he types it, it's Aguario. It's better than Vinatieri. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. At this rate, Kyle Brinsta is better than, than Roberto Aguario at the moment. Uh, Weapon X88 as first Buccaneers game you attended. The Jaguars game in 05. Preseason. Um, Joe Hill. Why am I surprised he asked this question? What are you doing to help Black Lives Matter? How about this? I'm not shooting nobody. Um, whoa, this is the long one. From Mr. Grave Slice. Shout out to him. He's been following me for a minute. Um. Shoot, I have completely messed this up again. My iPad is, like, screwing up. Anyways, where did that question go? Right here. Read more. He's got a few questions. Wow. Uh, favorite, favorite bolt, favorite buck. Favorite bolt of all time? Of all time, Brad Richards. Uh, present, Victor Hedman. Uh, current Buck, Quan Alexander, all time John Lynch. Uh, can you explain some fight arguments you've had at games with opposing fans? <sighs> um, hmm. one time we were playing in Philadelphia a couple years ago. One time, this guy he was wearing a J- Javon Curse Eagles jersey. And he, the Eagles were, the, the Bucks were in the red zone. And he went all the way in front of everybody down by the railing of my section. Um, and he stood right up in the middle. And um, he was cheering on his team. We scored a touchdown. No, we didn't. We ran it or something happened. We didn't score on that play. And I said, can you, like, move your fat self? Because I was irritated. Anyways, I was like, can you can you just move, please? Just stand right in the middle of the way. And he got all up in my face and all up in this everything, spitting in my face and all up in the internet. It just, I, I was really close to wanting to, you know. But anyways, uh, most annoying NFL, NHL fan base, easy, Montreal. Uh, any road game visits? This is my first one, the San Diego. Um... Ever seen a player in public? A couple times. I've seen Mike Allstott in public. I've seen, um, who else have I seen in public? I've seen Jerry Jones in public when I went to the Hall of Fame in Canton a couple years ago. That's not a player, but it's somebody. (sighs) Ernest Graham, I've seen him him in public. And that's about it. Unless I went to actual autograph um, signings in places where you can meet the guys. There's a ton of them, but who I've seen in public, there's your answer. Uh, with a healthy Ben Bishop of the Lightning or the Tampa Bay Lightning back to back Stanley Cup champions. I wouldn't say back to back, but they would have beaten the Blackhawks. The last one says what kind of player will Jameis be if he stays if he sees the playoffs? I don't know. I don't know. I can honestly tell you at this moment I don't know. I have to see it. You know, to kind of get it. So, um, so I, I, I honestly don't know how to answer that one. I'm sorry. Uh, next question. Dallas Man 101 again. How many jerseys do you have? Buccaneer jerseys? I, I made sure I counted this before I came on the trip. Buccaneer jerseys, I have 21. Lightning jerseys, I have four. Georgia jerseys, I have three. Florida State jerseys, I have one. And Miami Heat, I only have one. Ray Allen. I did have two, but I outgrew my Dwayne Wade jersey, and I gave it to Goodwill. Um, 
Dark the Wolf, how how long have have you been a Bucks fan? It says, how long are you being a Bucks fan? I'm going to assume how long have I been one? My whole life, 18 years. Swidda. Got a bunch of them. Would you want the old uniforms back forever or this shit, or this shit they had they wear now? Um, I will forever love the uniforms that we had before. I grew up with those uniforms. We won the Super Bowl in those uniforms. Um, it was my first jersey in those style uniforms. I would love those forever. But the new ones are kind of growing on me. A lot of people don't like them. Um, Especially the numbers, they're, they're growing on me. But as far as which one would I prefer, I would always prefer the old jerseys. Never, 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 never wanted to see those go. What was the most intense time you ever had with an opposing fan? Like I said, the Eagle game. Actually, I'll take, the, I'll take that. The most intense? Um, that was just an, there's another example. The Lightning were playing the Bruins here in Tampa. And every time I walk into the forum, I always like to scream out, the opposing team sucks. Like, I go, I went, Boston sucks! And this one guy bumped into me. He pushed me. <laughs> and uh, I almost dropped my food. And I almost went after him. That's one of those. That's, a, that's another time. Uh, what is your favorite Bucks moment besides winning the Super Bowl? Hmm. Wow. The 62-yard field goal. I've never seen any anything like it. Uh, the 62-yard field goal. Or, actually, I'll do you one better. It, when Rondé Barber intercepted Donovan McNabb in the championship game. Um, why that moment meant so much to me? Because I was young enough at the time. I still remember it. I still remember watching it on TV. And I remember my dad picking me up and carrying me over his shoulders when he could do that when I was 100 pounds less and running me around the neighborhood we live in with a flag screaming, we're going to the show, we're going to the show, we're going to the show, and I'll never forget that. That moment will carry on with me for my life. And what do you really think of me? Um, and what do you really think of me? Answer all of them, sir. I think you're okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's someone I'd like to sit down and have a drink with. How about that? Um, tell me. Oh, okay. And he also said enjoy the time. But good, it's good. Um, I did try to get to the Van City in Hartsfield. I didn't have enough time. We had some complications with our boarding pass. And we didn't have much time to walk around and find something to eat. So I had to eat shitty airport food. Airplane food. The turkey sandwich was awful. And I think that's it. Yep, that is it. So, thank you to those who asked questions. And, um, yeah. I plan to make a video for the Chargers. Uh, probably later this evening. Maybe tomorrow. So, yeah. Thank you everybody who asked questions. And, uh, see you later.